Violence continues to plague the city despite efforts from police to increase patrols and a new task force to get weapons off the streets. A 15 year old is now charged in last night's shooting on the south side that left three men in the hospital. Now as we head into the weekend, police and the community are on high alert. Thank you for joining us at five. I'm Kim Gable. We have team coverage. Our Megan Schiller is talking with concerned business owners. But first, Nicole Ford is live on East Carson Street now with what police are looking to change moving forward. Nicole. Kim, police say the issues are happening right here on the street. If you take a look at this intersection of 18th Street and East Carson, you can see a camera directly up on that street light. Across the intersection, you have multiple more angles as the city is working to get more eyes on this neighborhood to combat the violence. In the daylight, people stop and stare at bullet holes that shattered glass on the corner. The site becoming more common each day on East Carson Street. Alcohol, weapons, and the end of the pandemic. Those are the three elements. Public Safety Director Wendell Hisrich is crediting to the multiple shootings over the last few months in the South Side. We will build up and place additional officers to include plainclothes officers in the uh, upcoming evenings that. Uh, we're having problems. But even with more foot patrols on Thursday night, police say three men were shot and are still in the hospital. Police say a 15 year old from Claritin is facing a number of charges, including criminal attempted homicide. We have a lot of under 21 individuals who are frequenting Southside just to hang out because they have nothing to do. You know, we want to keep in mind, we are still in a pandemic. A lot of businesses have closed. The bars and restaurant industries have been hit hard. Southside has a few good places that are still open and people just want something to do. But public safety leaders say when that many people gather in one place, the crowds become the issue. People are just running for safety. They just want to get to a safe space. And for our officers, they don't know who is fleeing for safety and who is fleeing for fear of being arrested or, or caught. So it is a very, very difficult situation uh, to manage when you have thousands of people on Carson. And Starting tonight, more bright lights will spread across the streets. And the city is working with PennDOT to change the traffic flow of East Carson to allow more room for pedestrians and better visuals for officers. We are looking at traffic flow and hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday next week we will lock that in. Police say that shooting is not the only crime that happened on this same block at the same time last night. According to police, two officers witnessed a suspect punching a victim. That suspect then took off. Officers chased him. At some point, police say that suspect lost his gun and he started reaching for the officer's weapon. That's when a woman with him actually started punching the officer. Both that suspect and the woman were taken into police custody and that incident is also under investigation tonight. Reporting live in the South Side, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.